So now we take a look at the second file on the file of Dr. Jürgen Bühler. It's a bit longer, 91 uh, pages. So Dr. Jürgen Bühler is the president of the International Christian Embassy and on uh, 5th of March 2018 I asked him to step down for what he did. Um, I'll explain this here quite um, in detail. Um, so here the, um, the whole chat of this matter um, is the content of what's happening with um, Rabbi Feld. So and it contains, um, you know, very personal and private um, information, you know, uh, which was published after Dr. Jürgen Bühler did not um, react. Now, this is a publication from um, 31st of October 2018. And by that time, it was already clear that uh, Dr. Jürgen Bühler is one of the um, you know, key people in the um, yeah, Jewish-Christian relationships and sits in Jerusalem. And as head of the president, as president of the International Christian Embassy, has a very hard grip on various theological issues. Now, I wanted to solve this, and uh, this is why this is coming out. Uh, because I asked uh, Rabbi Feld, you know, to look into this whole issue um, of accusations that I, uh, because I did not subscribe to uh, the uh, Jesus equals God issue, this uh, went very far into my family and I went uh, to war with this and one point found out, okay, I do actually have the keys of David. Um, which is necessary to take out the Pope. Long story, you know, it's, I told this now for six years and uh, kept informed basically everybody, including Ronald Lauder and David Rothschild, the Israeli High Court, and of course the US administration, my German government, my church in Germany, and of course my uh, Rabbi Feld, who are all involved in these issues. So this is a complete file. Now it goes into very much detail what the International Christian Embassy is, what I did there, um, how Ronald Lauder from the World Jewish Congress is connected with this, and actually how the International Christian Embassy um, was involved already in the pre-election of Donald Trump, when Donald Trump made a sign-up actually at the ICEJ. And um, this was even after I said, Yo, uh, Jürgen, you know, I did the work from Jerusalem and there are some open issues concerning Ephraim. So I wanted to check this out, clear this out and um, was not able to. So I put the uh, text information, of course, also in there. There is, of course, money involved here. Dr. Jürgen Bühler goes to America. Um, it's an NGO text trick and I wanted to have some answers. You know, because there are various issues running now for years. So you find basically um, all the detailed information about certain individuals in this PDF and also the um, various uh, theological issues um, what Dr. Jürgen Bühler actually subscribed to. So important here, the biblical stand on Zionism. So uh, Reverend Malcolm Hedding now um, is um, set to hold a um, conference, online conference on 24th of March, you know, concerning Christian anti-Semitism. Now, and this Christian anti-Semitism comes out of the idea um, that um, Christians do not have to hold the Torah, you know, that Ephraim is a fable, you know. So Ephraim is a key individual in the Bible. You cannot overread it, read it. It's impossible. And um, so after I said, okay, but I'm Ephraim. So it became basically a sports by various theologians and people who thought they are theologians to uh, come up with Bible teachings about um, Ephraimites, that they are basically have no right to exist, you know. So it, um, and I said, okay, it's because of me. And one of the issues is that, um, you know, the stuff goes out now for 20 years. And um, so for the last six years, I dived very deeply into this issue and said, okay, I'm able to bring a solution here. 
you know, as a frame priest of the order of Melchizedek and my personal issues with Dr. Jürgen Bühler. It has nothing to do with uh, any of my friends, you know, from the Orthodox community. No, it has a, it's a very personal issue. Yeah, I know this guy now for 20, uh, 23 years or something, and he destroyed my life for going around that I'm uh, telling people I'm crazy. So now um, he became like a real threat to the um, Jewish community. No, the, they, they are threatening, they are accused of proselytizing, and I can confess and confirm, yes, and it's very, very, very dangerous. So after the guy sent me like the chat above, you know, so here on 16th of September already 2015, this went out from the chief rubber note that the, uh, what the ICA does is actually dangerous. And yes, it's true because it appears in various newspapers and shapes the minds of people, all right? Um, while at the same time, you know, when I already wanted to come 2018, uh, on German Unification Day, 3rd of October, you know, Ephraim sits here and Dr. Jürgen Bühler at the same time on Breaking Israel News. And for all the time, um, I was not able to bring about my story, which uh, will break, uh, break now. And for everybody who wants to know what's happening with the um, International Christian Embassy, and so he buys the purchase, the file for five euros or five euros. Now, um, and of course, uh, it's a legal battle. Um, so if you want to chip in with the court bond, I really would um, appreciate this. Thank you very much.